Does your smart TV have Google TV built in? Are you also sick of the stock layout with all the advertisements and all this extra stuff you don't really need? I don't know about you, but this is just way too bloated for me. Well, what if you could make it more simple and switch from this to this? This is Project TV Launcher or Project TV Launcher. I'm not sure how to say it, but this is my home screen. That's it. I have a bunch of apps on here and no clutter no advertisements, just the way I like it. Now there's a ton of different settings in here, including the ability to override your current launcher. So when I hit the home button, it defaults to the launcher instead of Google. Now when I press the settings button on my Hisense 65 inch canvas TV remote, it still pulls up the regular Google settings screen. So you're not gonna lose anything. I can easily connect Bluetooth devices and I can still access Google Home. This way I can control my thermostat or see who may be at the front door. Now there is so much you can do with this. I can show and hide the titles. I can make the corners more rounded if I want to. I can make the cards really big or really small. Change the spacing. There's just so many settings, it's ridiculous. You can even install custom icon packs. You could change the wallpaper. And there's a bunch of different sources including Reddit, you can have dynamic colors that change with the screen. Uh, I paid for the premium edition, so I created a user-defined folder and downloaded some of these wa live wallpapers you saw. And it works pretty well. You could even change it to a big grid like this. Whatever you prefer, it's very customizable. Now it did take a while to figure out how to get the custom wallpapers downloaded to this TV. Even though your TV has Google TV, it may be built into the TV, you may have a separate box, and different devices have different permissions. On the Hisense, I was able to use CX File Explorer. Let's open that. I connected one of my cloud accounts to download the video wallpapers, and then I was able to go into this Android folder, into Data, and this highlighted folder here is where I put all of the video wallpapers. So if you're looking to do the same, maybe jot down this file location. Wow, this wallpaper is so cool. Thank you for whoever created it. Now it's not only about making your TV look really cool and decluttered and free of advertisements, but there's a lot of other useful features. Now I happen to use a VPN on my TV and you could actually go into the settings and have it launch on boot. So my VPN launches if the TV ever reboots, restarts, turns on, just the way I like to have it. I'm not doing anything weird. And you can add a parental code. You can lock apps if you want behind a code. I have two little kids and I do that. So you can set a code on your remote and lock any app on the TV. I love that. You could also install third-party apps. You can back up your TV settings to a separate file, which I did. And I just used because I've been messing it up a lot. There's a lot you can do with this launcher and I'm probably only scratching the surface. I've literally been using this for a few weeks and I said, you know what, I gotta put this on my channel because everybody should be using this. Shout out to the developer. I'll even put a link in the video so you can easily download it. So really great job by the developer. Thanks to everyone whose wallpapers I downloaded from online. I appreciate it, they look amazing. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments, especially if you know how to pronounce Project TV Launcher. Sounds good to me. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching.